It seems often bans are placed on certain practices in the country, but nothing is done to enforce the law. One of such outlawed practices is the importation and sale of second-hand undergarments, handkerchiefs and mattresses. The ban took effect two years ago, yet hundreds of Ghanaians smuggled these goods into the country without any fear. The perception of many users is that used garments and those store rejects from abroad are more durable and comfortable to use. For users of such words, clothing popularly known as Obuni Wewu. Prefer second. That means every place I can get some. Every place I can get some roadside in our area and whatever. Yeah, and it is a cheap price too. Uto a yare bi enimfos ni se obenya yare because uto a oche se bibi wo mo ana bibi ni. A simple wash of a second-hand garment with antiseptic frees the user of any potential health hazard. The Ghana Standards Authority, however, says it has done all it should do, but second-hand undergarments find its way through unauthorized routes onto the country's markets. Mattresses underpants, hankies, used hankies, and uh, 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 things of that nature are not to be allowed into the country. For this reason, the Ministry of Trade made an announcement that they should not be patronized. As a standards body, we also took it up to announce it on air. We went through uh, throughout Ghana to various parts of the country. The head of public relations at the Ghana Standards Authority, Kofi Amponsa Bidiakon, has nonetheless advocated that consumers who buy these things, the purchasers, have vowed to continue to buy these things. The reason they give is that Obrenewewu uh, or uh, secondhand goods or clothes are cheaper.